In this video, I want to explain why there are so many ties in the Boone and Crockett record books. And I want to use my elk to give you the example of why there are so many ties, because my elk wasn't the biggest elk I've ever harvested, but it fit into the criteria that the Boone and Crockett record books had in their measurement system, because it was a very even six by six, few deductions, very clean animal, had 25 inch daggers, had 18 inch thirds, beautiful. And I'm very, very proud to be in the record book. It's a very prestigious book and it has stood the test of time. Here's a picture of my elk. It had 25 inch daggers, 18 inch thirds, 56 inch main beams, very clean animal. And I share it with three other typical elk in the Boone and Crockett record book. And you can see that they all netted 387. I'm tied with three other elk, but they're not the same elk. If you look at the differences, one of them is gross is 416. You can see different lengths of main beams, different points, that sort of thing. And so even though they show that they're all tied, they are not the same. They are not tied, but the scoring system scores them to be tied. And technically, when you have a tie, and Mr. Google says it's a half win or a half loss. So for our elk at 387 typical points, we have a quarter win and a quarter loss. Now, in the Boone and Crockett record book of measurements, everything that they measure in that book is in irregular shape or irregular solids. And in order to be measured properly, there is a difference. Regular solids, liquids, and this is scientific terms that I took right out of Mr. Google. A irregular solid can only be measured by water displacement because that's the only that's the scientific way they do it, and that's the way I do it with the C tags. Because there's no way a quarter inch tape can do it. And I'll explain it even further. Perhaps the most difficult reading of all, irregular shapes and curved surfaces can be particularly tricky to measure with tape. For irregular shapes, you must measure each individual side of the shape and add these measurements together. Now, with the Boone and Crockett, they measure the outside curve. And it's the same with Pope and Young, whether it's Henry Kelsey, that's the way they score with a quarter inch tape. And that's why they get so many ties. Because when you have a point on one side that's 10 inches, and the other point matching is only six, you lose four inches, it's deducted, and more or less, you have only two six inch points on that antler. Also, if you've got a whole bunch of uh, sticker points, they measure those sticker points and they deduct them. So now if you look at it, the elk situation, this particular elk scored 416 and seven eighths, but by deducting all those deductions, it more or less took them away and made it equal to my elk that never grew them in the first place. So you can see now while the system is causing ties. All those deductions, all of a sudden, err to the smallest animal. Now if you look at the volume of irregular solids, is formed by the method known as displacement of liquid. Had those four elk been scored this way, there'd be a totally different picture. Because now you're involving the intellectual community. And I explain it here. Now again, according to Mr. Google, in the intellectual dimension, the core values are truth and tolerance. Related values here include love of truth, critical thinking, creativity, openness, future orientation, and scientific orientation for future generations. Mr. Google also says, that these considerations underscore the fact that good thinking and learning have a character-based dimension. They require the practice of qualities like intellectual, carefulness, perseverance, honesty, humility, attentiveness, and thoroughness. These are the intellectual virtues. Now, as usual, when I have a podcast, you don't want to see me with a pair of headsets on spitting into a mic. So I show you videos of deer that we have around here. But to get back to why there are so many ties, 
The Boone and Crockett method was founded on sound judgment and the intention was the conservation of these beautiful animals. Now the intellectual dimension did not get involved because of status quo and that sort of thing. But there was a lot of other inventions back in the uh, late 1800s and early 1900s. The automobile, the telephone, uh, everything, even the, even the airplane. But the intellectual dimension got on board and you can see what they've evolved to to this day. I mean, you would not ride in Orville Wright's airplane, but all of us fly in them regularly. So by the intellectual community not getting involved with the Boone and Crockett, it evolved to the point where it is today. And there are so many ties because of the measurement system they're using. They used a system back then that was totally acceptable. But nowadays, people are getting a little more critical. I'm not comfortable with ties myself. To me, if it wins, it wins, it loses, it loses. If it's a tie, you redo it. And that's why the C-Tags was invented, because I use scientific knowledge as the intellectual community. Our job is to secure the gen future generations have the right information. Now, if you harvest a huge animal, by all means, you're going to use the current scoring systems. But now you also have an alternative to using the C-Tag system. I'm opening it up to the public. I want people to be able to score the exact way I do. It's very simple, it's very easy. If you watch the other episodes, you know I have other animals that I was lucky enough to harvest, and they also made the record book. One in particular, I am tied with 61 other individuals. And you know my feelings about ties. So now you have the alternative. If you want, you can score it whatever way you want, but now you have a scientific alternative to how these answers can be scored the way the scientific community wants it to. Thank you very much for watching.